So here we have the Vauxhall Mocha on a 14 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car. And then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside of it. From the outside, you can see it's a five-door car with alloy wheels. We're going to start off inside the boot area, first of all. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors. Plenty of boot space as well. Uh, you can also fold down the rear seats, as should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car. And then, as I mentioned, we'll hop in and run through just a few of the controls on the inside of it from there. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter. We have the speedometer on the right-hand side. In the centre, you can see the total miles of the car. They are 66,278. Uh, you can change the information that's displayed in that section, should you wish to, by using buttons on the indicator stalk. If we back out to the steering wheel, we have our stereo and phone controls. Uh, and over on the left-hand side, cruise control and speed limiter here. In the center, we have the main stereo and the screen directly above it. So when it comes to radio, first of all, you can see we have FM, DAB and AM. We have a CD player. We've also got auxiliary input. So loads of ways to listen to your music. And of course you can pair your phone up as well. All of that is done with the buttons just here. We have the main volume for the stereo as well. Your CD player is just there. And then below that, we have the dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger and driver temperature. You can increase and decrease the fan speed. You can determine what direction you'd like the air to be distributed in. The air conditioning is off, back on again. You can recirculate the air that's in the car. That's a great way of heating it up or cooling it down quickly, depending on the temperatures you've set just here. Underneath that, you can turn your parking sensors on and off, your downhill brake control on and off. You can put the car in eco mode. We have a 12 volt charging socket. Under that cap, we have our auxiliary and USB inputs, and then the gear lever for the six speed manual gearbox. Last thing I wanted to mention, it's quite rare to find these on a mocker, but you've got a sunroof, so this uh, sun blind uh, section will slide open manually, and then you can open the sunroof, both uh, up and down with the buttons on here. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Surrey Specialist Cars. We'd love to hear from you soon.